Hi everyone, it's Helen here from Helen Chapman Handmade Crafts and today I'd like to share with you this really bright and cheerful congratulations card. Now this one that I've created is with a graduation theme but obviously you could leave off the little mortar board if you wanted it to be a congratulations card for a different type of event. It's using two of the new in colours, Magenta Madness and Just Jade. And these two are quickly moving up <laughs> my list of favourites. Um, Misty Moonlight is still out there in front at the minute, but really, really only just. Um, these are a great combination and that Magenta Madness is just so, so bright and cheerful. Now we've got the card base and this is a standard A6 card base so it measures 21 centimetres by 14.9 and I've scored it at 10.5 along the long edge. We can go ahead and fold and burnish that. And pop it to one side. Now, the main card front is a piece of Whisper White cardstock measuring 10 centimetres by 14.4. And we're going to create this background using the new Pattern Play stamp set. And to get this repeated stamping, um, we're going to use the hinge step technique with the Stamparatus. And bring that in and we're going to alternate between the magenta madness and the just jade inks or we'll ink up with the magenta madness first of all got the foam mat underneath my grid paper here and lift that off now the um chamois is perfect for cleaning when you're using the stamparatus I had temporarily mislaid mine. That was what all the <laughs> pauses were about. Um, I've given that a quick clean. And then we're going to use the hinge step technique. So I'm going to lift out the plate. Pop it back down in the next position. I'm going to move my magnet along a little. And we're going to do the next one in... Just Jade. Inking up again. And don't forget with the Stamparatus, if you don't get a perfect impression first time, you can always go in again because you know it's going to be in the same position. Okay. Give that a wipe. And we're going to move it along to the next position. And ink up again with the Magenta Madness. A little bit of pressure on that. Move along. I really love the hinge step technique, and you can find in the catalogue, you can find underneath the individual stamp sets, some of them will say that they're suitable for the hinge step technique. And um, pattern play is one of them, and basically, it means the sizes of the stamps 
are perfect for this technique. Um, for example, we could fit one of the other pattern pieces in that gap and we could stamp them both together and we could move the whole lot along and they would line up perfectly. The other stamp set that I'm enjoying using it with at the minute is Palette Thoughts because um, the wood effect stamp in that stamp set is perfect and when you move along they actually the stamps line up perfectly together so you get a continuous wood effect image it's really great love the stamp apparatus in we go again so this is the final one we're using the magenta madness going in for our final set of stripes A little bit of pressure on there. Give that a quick clean. And then we can pop some of this to one side. Just take off the magnets. Be careful not to put them down next to one another. I'll just pop them back in their little homes so that we don't have a disaster okay there we have our background piece and you can see in the top corner here i've taken a bit of each of the in color ribbons for the two colors that i've used folded them over and just stapled them at the top um don't be afraid to use things like staples and paper clips and that sort of thing. I think they can look really great. So, let's see how much we want. And then trim off the excess. Something like that. And then I'm going to... You staple this to the top before I attach it to the card base and then you won't have any staples showing through the inside of your card. So just try and get the staple to at least go through a little bit of the ribbon just to try and hold that in place. You could pop a little bit of tear and tape underneath as well if you wanted to just to be sure. We're ready to pop that onto the card base. Let's pop a little bit around the staple just to help it stick down around there. And lining that up as best we can. I love these colours together. I think they look fabulous. Okay. Now we need our sentiment, which I've stamped in Just Jade onto Whisper White. And we need our little mortarboard, which I've stamped in Magenta Madness onto Whisper White. So we can take those. And both of those, both the sentiment and the mortarboard, come from the Round of Applause stamp set which I'm really enjoying using at the minute. I think it's fun. Love the cute little mortar board. We're going to fussy cut that out, so I'm just going to pop that in the corner there. Then I'm going to take the congratulations. And this is going to be cut out using one of the Tasteful Labels dies. I've got the little banner bit. I'll just check that that's going to fit in there. And then we won't waste too much card. 
inking up the sentiment. Pop that down. I've also cut out the banner out of the Just Jade, little scrap of Just Jade cardstock as well, just to give that a little bit of a lift um, to make sure that the sentiment stands out there. Chop those down and we're ready to cut that one out. So whirring away. There's our sentiment and I'll just do the little scrap of just jade as well. There we have that bit. All I would do is just pop a little bit of glue along the top of this just jade piece. Then position your whisper white piece and just try to line those up like that. And then this is relatively easy to fussy cut uh, because you've got mainly straight lines. The hardest bit is just the tassel really. Um, but don't worry about getting it too neat around the tassel. I'm just going to go in relatively close and just curve round the tassel, really not trying to get too, too close to there. Okay, I think that looks really cute. That is just going to go right onto the tip of this banner so that we can still see the sentiment something like that onto there we're going to pop some mini stamping dimensionals I would make sure you pop one onto your little mortarboard as well just to stop that from bending too much. Just give that a little bit of support. And then into the bottom corner. And then the final touch is few rhinestones using the take your pick and dotting those around your card give them a little push to help keep them in place and there you have it I hope you like the card. I hope you love this colour combination. I think it's fabulous. So, so bright, lovely and cheerful. Would be great for kids' cards, teenagers' cards, or just those people in your life that love a bit of colour. I'm sure we all know people like that. Um, beautiful, beautiful colours. There is a blog post to go along with this card as well. I'll pop the link to that in the description below this video. 
The blog post does contain the links should you wish to purchase any of the products that I've shown you here today. Uh, don't forget that at the moment there's a lot of specials going on with Stampin' Up! during the whole of June. For any large orders there are some extra Stampin' rewards available. There's a really good deal for the starter kit. Uh, the starter kit is always fabulous value uh, but at the minute you get an extra free bundle and the bundles in the catalogue are worth up to £55.75 and you could be choosing one of those for free. Uh, there's lots of information about these promotions and about the starter kit over on my website which is papercraftlife.com If you have any questions you can email me, it's helen at papercraftlife.com uh, I look forward to hearing from you, I'll answer anything that I can and if I can't answer them I'll go away and find someone that can <laughs> and get back to you um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, give it a like and subscribe to my channel so you get notified when I upload more projects and more inspiration for you. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.